Today for fourth grade math, we will learn about naming place values. Let's start with the number four. This obviously is a single digit and we simply say four. Now, let's add a value of two in front of the four and we get the number 24. The place value for the number four is in the ones and the place value for the number two is in the tens. Let's add another number two and now we read this number as 224. And this new digit that we added is in the hundreds. So whenever we see a three digit numbers, we know it's in the hundreds. Okay, let's add a number one in front of these set of numbers and now we are in the thousands. Always add a comma. And this one is in the one value of the thousand section. The correct way to read this number is 1,224. If we add a number six to this set of numbers, the number six is in the tens value of the thousand section. Or we can say 10,000 value. So now we have 61,224. Let's add another number of six to this set and this new six is in the 100,000 value. 661,224. Never say and when reading numbers. For example, if you read this number like this, 661,224. That is wrong. Never say the word and when reading numbers to the left of the decimal. We will explain why later. Now, what number value comes next? For example, let's add a two and what value is this number? That's right, it is in the one million value. Let's review, the first three digits are in the hundreds. The second three digits are in the thousands and the next three digits are in the millions. And always put a comma after three digits. Let's read this number correctly and do not say the word and when reading it. We have 2,661,224. And this system of placing number values continues on and on. After million, we get billions and then trillions, etc. Let's read this number correctly. We have 51 billion, 112 million, 661,224. Next, we're going to zoom in and learn the number values to the right of the decimal. Let's place a decimal right here and let's write in a value of two. What is this place value? It is not ones, but tenths. There is a distinguishable THS sound. I highlighted those letters in red. Let's add a number one and a number three. The one is in the hundredths value and the number three is in the thousandths value. The correct way to read this number is 1,224. Now we use the word and whenever we see a decimal. So let's read it again, 1,224 and 213 thousandths. Now, Imagine that you have a math assignment where you are to write out this number. The first key word is million, and then we have a key word thousand. So we have 51 million, and we will simply write out a five and a one and a comma after the one. We know that after the millions, we have the thousand section and there are three digits, and we will use three lines. Then we have the hundred section and we will also draw three lines. And we always put commas after three digits. What numbers go here? We see that we have 224,000. We will simply write out a two, a two, and a four, and a comma for a thousand. The last set of numbers is 401. We will write out a four, and a zero, and a one. Next, write out this number, 324. And 12 tenths. Well, 324 is easy, and we will simply write out a 3, a 2, and a 4. Next, we see the word and. Whenever we see the word and, we know it's a decimal. So, we will write out a decimal. This is why we never say the word and when reading numbers to the left of the decimal. And finally, we have 12 tenths. We simply write the number 12 after the decimal. Thank you for watching this video.